Hi, my name is Zev Gershon. I'm a physician and an attorney concentrating in medical malpractice law, specifically cerebral palsy cases. Today I'd like to talk about VBAC, capital V-B-A-C. What does that stand for? It stands for vaginal birth after C-section. It used to be the adage many, many years ago, once a C-section, always a C-section. But that's not true anymore. Today, for low-risk women, healthcare providers can determine that some of them are eligible for VBACs. So that is, after a C-section, they can have a vaginal birth. No problem. One should be careful, though, and healthcare providers usually are careful, to look for any prodromal signs, if they exist, for what can happen in a VBAC when things go wrong, specifically a uterine rupture. That is, many times, if a VBAC doesn't go well, what will happen is the uterus will start separating at the scar site of the previous C-section. This separation can sometimes be felt by women and they complain of a tearing or burning or stabbing type pain. Sometimes they complain of this pain during labor and delivery and unfortunately are ignored and are told, oh, that's just the normal signs of labor and delivery. However, many times when these symptoms are paid attention to and the moms are taken emergently to the OR, a delivery can occur to their baby before the full-blown uterine rupture occurs, before the baby floats out of the uterus in the abdominal cavity and severe results can occur, specifically lack of oxygen or lack of blood flow to the baby's brain. A VBAC is also, under current standards of the American College of Obstetricians, not recommended for patients who have had two prior C-sections. Specifically, moms who have had two prior C-sections and no prior vaginal delivery are not allowed to get a VBAC. In those circumstances, an elective C-section is done long before the mom would ever go into or have contractions that may lead to a uterine rupture. The goal is obviously for a healthy baby and to avoid a uterine rupture. And, when, and the standard care is met, these goals can be achieved.